One thing I love about Thanksgiving is that it's a day set aside for the specific purpose of giving God thanks. And I want to talk to you about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. See, many of our forefathers were committed Christians, and even those that weren't, they believed that the Bible was the true word of God. They knew that God had given them this, 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 great, this great nation, and in turn, they honored him by selecting specific dates to give him thanks. And even or not, uh, believe it or not, um, the Continental Congress in 1777, they even made uh, its first national proclamation of Thanksgiving, making December 18th a day of solemn thanksgiving and praise. But then in 1789, President George Washington, um, he created Thanksgiving Day and he, he made it a national holiday. But you know, Today, I see people observing Thanksgiving, and, and I see them looking forward to a day or two off of work, um, a day of eating a lot of food, a lot of turkey, pumpkin pie, all the trimmings, a day of watching football, a lot of football. Um, they, 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 they look forward to Black Friday, then to like would be the next the following day for all the sales, and, and many stores are even open on Thanksgiving Day now, and, um, and started their Black Friday sales early. Um, in fact, most people don't even call it Thanksgiving anymore. They call it Turkey Day. And, and, they, and I think if, if you look at any social media outlet or even television, you're going to see there's, there's more promotions for Black Friday than there is, that there is for Thanksgiving. It's, it's amazing how things have turned the tide. Um, we need to have an attitude of gratitude uh, for Thanksgiving Day. You know, the Bible tells us in Psalm 104 to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. We need to do this every day, but especially on Thanksgiving. For us living in America, we need to do this because all we have to do is take a look around and look at the other countries and we could see that, okay, our country may need some help. It, you know, we may, we may need some fixing here and there, but it's still the best place in the world to live. I'm so thankful and grateful that I can live here. I thank God for my health. I thank you for my beautiful wife, Deb. I thank you for, for my dogs, Frankie and Sophie, for my friends and family. Especially thank you for Fearless Faith Ministries as we continue to grow and see God's blessings as we spread the good word of Jesus Christ throughout the world. And we're doing that through our Morning Cup of Inspirations on Facebook, uh, our Instagram page, our YouTube channel, our podcast, Finish Strong, and now on our radio station, Fearless Faith Radio. And thanks to you, Thanks to you, it's free for everyone anywhere around the world. And they can get a free app, a free app by going to their app store and getting a free app just by downloading it and taking Fearless Faith Radio with them 24-7 anywhere around the world. You can receive that. Thank you for, to you that we can do that. And so we're so blessed by it. I'm so blessed by so many things. And my prayer is that you'll take time to reflect on your blessings today. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy anniversary. It is an anniversary of the country. Huh? Happy Thanksgiving. Looking forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.